Today, let's see how to create stylized smoke in Unreal. This is one of the most useful tricks to know when it comes to visual effects. Knowing how to erode meshes can yield some pretty cool results, especially when trying to recreate stylized effects. So let's see a simplified version. As usual, we made quite a few variations and they are all available on the marketplace and on my Patreons page too, links below. So without further ado, let's jump right into this, just wanna say these videos are possible thanks to my patrons and by supporting me you get access to these projects and many many more assets that you can use in your games. So for this one we can begin with an agri system directly, an empty one and rename it to stylized smoke and inside here with we'll right click we can add an empty emitter. This is gonna be for our smoke. This way you see how to set up an emitter from scratch as well. The first thing we need is to change the render. We are not going to emit sprites, we are going to emit a mesh render. Because we want to emit a specific mesh for this effect, that we will show you in a moment how to create. For now, let's get the basic motion of this emitter right. Then, what we need is to spawn something, right? So, on the emitter update, we can add a spawn rate of around 20. And say the lifetime in the initialized particle is random between 1.2 and 1.6. We can already say that the scale is going to be something between 1 and 2. We will see later on if that's ok. Let's just add a shape location so they don't all spawn in the same position. It can be a cylinder with no eighth but with a radius of 20. Small thing. Finally, some motion with add velocity. This gives us a warning, essentially saying that we are missing the solve forces and velocity and we can click fix issue and Unreal will automatically add it. Oh, let's say the velocity is in cone, around 800 and if we want this to go up, we can say the cone axis is 0, 0 for the X and Y and 1 for the Z. And then you can play a little bit with the cone angle so it spreads. This is what we got, as you can see, some basic axis 3D models but the motion is more or less there. Now let's take care of the aspect of this and let's create a very basic mesh. We are going to use Blender because it's easy to pick up and it's free and I'm going to guide you the best that I can. For example, we want to select everything with A and then press delete so we can have a clean scene and then with Shift A we want to start with an icosphere and down here on the left bottom panel we want to set the subdivisions to 1 because they will look better if we add a modifier right here called subdivision surface. Just like this. Now the idea is to duplicate this a couple of times, two, three times, four, so we kinda have this cloud, this smoke, this shape. You can test different shapes obviously. It's totally fine. The idea then is to select these meshes and with Ctrl J we are gonna join them into one mesh. Now, this has a lot of vertices inside there that we don't need. So let's use a remesh modifier. And with voxel selected, let's say the voxel size is around 0.15. Oh, and turn on smooth shading so it looks smoother. Feel free to test different voxel size values. And lastly, we want to apply these modifiers from the top. The subdivision and then the remesh. And with all of these applied, now we can use decimate. To decrease the poly count, I'm going to use unsubdivide and increase a little bit the iterations. You can play with these values and adjust it however you want. And then we need to apply this. Now for this to work properly with our shader, we need to fix the UVs. I'm going to open up a new window and select UV editor. And on the right window with tab we can enter edit mode. And as you can see this doesn't have UV maps. So one very simple way to unwrap this and get a decent UV map is by pressing U and select Sphere Projection. Now we need to make sure that everything is inside these boundaries, this square. We can scale it down with S, select the vertex that are outside the boundaries with B and push them inside with G. They won't be perfect but they're acceptable UVs for this effect. Now let's rename this to Smoke01 and let's export this in File, Export and select FBX. Turn on selected objects so we only export this, rename it to SEM underscore smoke, 
And in our case, we are going to export this directly to the Unreal project. As soon as we switch over to Unreal, it has detected that there's a new file. It asks us if we want to import and we can say import all. Close this window and now let's assign this right here so you can see something and here we go. That's the beginning. Looks very interesting already. Now let's make sure that it has some random rotation by adding the initial mesh orientation module to the particle spawn. Make sure mesh orientation mode is set to random. And finally, we can control the scale of this with the scale mesh size on the particle update. Let's transform this into a float and then transform it to a curve. And we want this to essentially grow. So the first key is going to be 0 0.1, more or less. And the last key, 1.5, for example. I'm going to use auto so it's a little bit smoother and fix the handles so we can have this curve right here. And this is what we get at this point. Right, so we need to take care of the aspect of this. Let's go ahead and create a material. With right click, material, I'm gonna call it the M underscore smoke. Double click to open it up. And on the details, let's already switch the material to masked so we can essentially erode this. And that's the foundation on how we made all of these effects, which are all available on the marketplace, by the way. Now we essentially need a texture to erode this according to that texture. So let's search for a parameter 2D, call it the main text, and to erode that texture, we can connect the RGB to a power node. Now, if we want the colors of Niagara to influence this material, we need the particle color node, multiply it with the power, and connect it to the emissive color. Now there's one thing we need, which is to control that power value, how much we dissolve the main texture, true Niagara. For that, we use a dynamic parameter node. It comes with four parameters. We can rename the first one to erosion and the second one to power. And the default values could be 20 and 0. We can connect the power to the power node. And the erosion parameter is a cool trick that we can multiply with the R channel of the main text and then connect to the opacity mask. This is what will erode. The power is to dissolve the texture. In combination you can create very interesting effects. I'm just gonna assign the Voronoi to the main texture, which by the way it's available for free on the link below. And this is what we have. Lastly, if you guys want to control the metallic and specular values, you can create a scalar parameter for the metallic and for the specular, with default values of 0 and 0 0.1 respectively. Let's save these and as a good practice, let's create a material instance out of this original material. I'm gonna drag it outside of the originals. It's just good practice. Let's go back to our Niagara system and on the mesh render, let's enable material overrides, add a new material override and, well, assign the material instance of the smoke. And here we go. It's a beginning. Now the cool trick is to animate the erosion. And if you want to animate something, it needs to be in the particle update, where we can use the dynamic material parameters so we can access those values that we have exposed on the material. And as you can see, Niagara immediately detects that there is an erosion and a power parameter. For the erosion, let's convert this float to a curve. And the way this works is, well, in the beginning, let's say the first key starts at 0 0.3 and it has a value of 15. And last key, we can leave it as it is. Let's select everything and say it's auto, so we can have these handles and create this curve right here. What will happen is that 15 needs no erosion and 0 is completely eroded. So in the beginning we don't have erosion and at the end, well, it's eroded, creating this cool effect. And now you can do all type of things. For example, let's use a scale color, say it's RGBA together and convert this to a curve and it will create a gradient and the cool thing is that we can push the last key more or less to around here as well as the first key to around 0 0.25 add a key in the middle we can say it has this value in terms of gray and for the last key a very close dark and we create this very cool stylized smoke just look how awesome it is and now if you want to control this as if it was a wind you can add a wind force in the particle update we get a warning saying that there's a few models that are missing, like the drag module, we can click fix issue. There's another warning on the drag saying that it needs the drag to be before. 
solve forces and velocity. You can click fix issue and Niagara automatically fix this, which is awesome. And now, well, on the wind speed, we could say something like 1500 for the X and for the Z as well. And we prefer to disable turbulence, we get a more realistic feeling, and this is what we get. So as you can see, you can control the wind force, you can play with this, and it's super cool the effect we can get with just the erosion. Now it would be super awesome if you guys could support us on Patreon, where you can get all of these effects from this pack and many many more assets that you can use. That would be awesome and we would appreciate a lot if you guys could support us. This is also available on the marketplace, by the way. I want to say thank you to each patron that supported last month. And a quick shout out goes to the top tier patrons, which are Alberto Sageres, Alexei, Alien Alstad, Aviat Tobali, Cyber Cradle, Daniel Schmidt, David Molina, Diego Marcos, Lua Ama, Frosty Forty, Grub Lab, Jared Billy, Jonathan Carlson, Casey Miller, Lee and Alt, Matt Moore, Mike Bell, Moop SDA, Aubryon, Oitz, Pierre Mario Roux, Pradip Sen, Radioactive Bullfrog, Revenant Games, RVR, Shan Aguilar, Spence, Stefanik Jasnowski, Strom, Tin, Verisuta, Whatever Marta, Will Poilian, Zoya Kanash, Bizina Seru, Tonekato, Xian Pianlin, Minje Kim, and Sanyan Yo. So, thank you all very much. I hope you are enjoying this Unreal Engine tutorial series with Niagara, and I hope to see you on the next one. Thank you. Bye.